This is Car Guys New England, your YouTube channel for anything automotive. This is Jay with Car Guys New England, and I got a really annoying problem going on on the Lincoln Town car. So every single night uh, since it's been pretty cold out, uh, I have been waking up in the middle of the night pretty much to this. Now I just hit the uh, the panic button uh, on the car, but the alarm has been going off on its own. So I did some investigating uh, in the middle of the night one night when it was going off. And uh, it was funny, I'd play with the key fob, I'd lock it, I'd unlock it, it would stop, and then it would start doing it again maybe half hour to an hour later. So my neighbors probably absolutely hate me for this going off in the middle of the night. But the one thing that I noticed, so I'm going to unlock the car. And as you can see, that interior light is on. When I get in the car, what I noticed what was happening would be I'd close the door. And you will notice that that is staying on. Um, Never mind the LEDs that are going bad where that's flashing, but let me try closing the door again. So it should dim out like that. Um, so what must have happened was I locked the car with the actual uh, driver's door thinking that the door wasn't closed and that was actually setting off the alarm. So I know to look at this door now. And I know it's been very cold out, um, so really there's not too much I can do right now. Uh, I am going to spray this with some Teflon just on the uh, on the door lock itself and also the striker, and uh, I might as well do my hinges. So I'll show you guys that stuff, and uh, you know as it warms up, hopefully this issue uh, goes away soon. So again, I'm going to close the door from the outside. So this is what I've been doing. I've been paying attention. To make sure that that light is going out then i can lock the car um, but anyways let me uh let me get the teflon spray and i'm just going to spray a few things test this out and uh, see if we can get this working a little bit better and uh here is the dupont non-stick dry film lubricant that i'm going to use uh, it's professional grade has a little ball in it so you can just shake it up and uh, i'm just going to treat the door hinges and the uh and also the door strikers and locks. So um, hopefully that'll make an improvement. And uh, this is a dry film lubricant. Uh, so it goes on uh, wet and then it's gonna end up drying. So we're just gonna treat my hinges. And uh, also I am going to treat the door strike. That that's treated, you'll notice light comes on. There's the light, close the door, goes off. So I think I may have this problem resolved. Um, I'm just kind of working in the Teflon. And again, it went out. So uh, I'm going to just do the rest of the doors. And uh, then we'll wrap this up. The rear door. And you don't want to breathe this stuff in. I wouldn't recommend that. Okay, so the hinges are done, and uh, let's just get the lock mechanism real good. Okay, and I'm just working that in, and in the back you can see the lights on. If I close it, lights going out. So I know the problem's not this door. It definitely was the uh, the front door sticking. Now we'll do the passenger side front, and again we'll just take care of these hinges. And again, the latch mechanism. Okay. All right. So we're going to close the door, make sure the light goes out, which 
the light goes out. All right, folks, so uh, that seemed to work pretty well on this. So uh, if you're looking to get some uh, non-stick spray, uh, I'll have that listed in the description below on my Amazon store, which helps support me. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give the video a like. If you have questions or comments, be sure to comment down below. This is Jay with Car Guys New England. Until next time, take care.